Well, I was exposed to glass the very first time uh, by the Marioni family. So uh, Paul Marioni, Dante Marioni. Um, Dante and I went to high school together. And after high school in 1982, Dante got me a job in a glass factory called the Glass Eye Studios. Dante and I were very close and we worked together on the same team for a number of years, uh, making Christmas balls, paperweights. We made, uh, you know, small production wear vases and things like that. So we were really developing our skills through working in the factory. About 1985, 86, I started to work with uh, Benjamin Moore. Um, and I was exposed to many other different artists. So I learned really through practical experience, you know, uh, working with all of those people. But it was about 1988 that I was at the Pilchuck School um, and I met this guy named David Svensson. Um, and David was an artist who had spent many summers up in, in uh, Haines, Alaska. And he had been working with carvers. He had been uh, the Clinkett carvers, which is my tribal background is the Clinkett tribe. So he really encouraged me on my path of, you know, connecting my culture to the medium of glass. And it was probably about 1996 when I had a, finally had a, a big, enough body of the of the native design pieces um, to have an exhibition. And I think that people were seeing those pieces and they there's something that was a little bit more uh, personal to them. And so I had a story about them. I had you know this connection, uh, matrilineal collect connection, you know, from my mother to my grandmother, great grandmother. Um, and so it's still a part of this continuum uh, of, of native culture. That became the most um, fulfilling thing that I could have done, honestly. One guy referred to it as modern heritage art, which I think that is really a good way of putting it because it is modern art, but it's connected to my heritage. And so, you know, that's, you know, essentially what I do is, is uh, uh, sometimes trying to represent the cultural objects, you know, in their traditional form. But then, you know, over the years, I've tended to go more abstract with it and uh, learn how to play with it in different ways. But um, I think that that was really a defining moment. That time when I made that choice to go towards the, the native art designs, um, a lot of people didn't really understand it or, or, you know, support it in a lot of ways. They, they felt like it wasn't, um, okay, I had this native background, but, you know, I grew up in a very urban um, kind of setting, you know, in Seattle. Um, and um, yet I knew deep, you know, deep down somewhere that this was going to uh, you know, lead me to the ultimate success. For me, I want to keep working with this medium and seeing where I can go with it because, um, you know, because it is a non-traditional medium for Native American art. It is, uh, and so I've become known for this material. And so I see it as my, um, I'm kind of an ambassador of glass to indigenous cultures. You know, I've worked with many, many different, um, you know, indigenous people from around the world. There's something very unique about the material that, you know, uh, depending on the, the, the cultural reference that the, you, can, you can start to bring something new out of it based on uh, your cultural background. Once you become a keeper of cultural knowledge, it's my feeling is that it becomes a responsibility. So that's kind of how I conduct myself. And that's why I have this particular connection to these objects. And I would like to tell the story of, you know, where they come from and what do they symbolize?
the great thing about it is that it just keeps it keeps evolving. You know, the awarenesses that I develop and the things that I move towards and try to try to learn about, understand, they keep presenting new things to me. And it's almost like walking into a flame, you know, you just a moth to a flame. You know, you just you can't stop it. You know, it's become something that that is so enriching and so giving, you know, that that it it keeps revealing new aspects to me. Part of what I would like to do is to keep bringing new stories out there, you know, new ways of looking at the uh, cultural symbols, new ways of, you know, accepting new materials. In the very beginning, I heard people, you know, criticize it saying, oh, it's too modern, it's too, you know, it's, it's not traditional. Well, so who is the one that's deciding what's tradition and what is not? tradition. So I contend that the longer that I work with the material of glass, the more traditional it's going to become for indigenous people. You know, that we should be allowed to uh, evolve, that we should be able to utilize, you know, technology and tools and things. So I, and in a lot of ways, it's more, it's just about declaring who we are uh, on our own terms you know, as indigenous people. Um, and that's, that's kind of a, that's a good place to be.